Hi, I'm here at Cable's Next Gen Conference in Denver, and I'm speaking with Fernando. So, Fernando, it's been over a year since uh, Sienna bought Tibet. How is Sienna like further enhancing the value to the MSO customer in the Pond network? Yep, it's been an exciting journey this last year after the acquisition. Uh, Tibet brought with it a novel deployment model for Pond, targeted. Uh, that can work deep inside the MSO network. What we've done around that is create an environment that can make it grow in scale mm -hmm. uh, and over time. We do that uh, with our hub and field switches uh, that are able to host uh, pluggables now and pluggables in the future, pluggable okay. OLTs in the future, uh, and also have the capability for coherent backhaul. That's, yeah. that's a big deal. Yeah. A little known fact is that uh, with Tibet, Sienna is now vertically integrated in the ONU space. We have our own chipsets, and so we bring a lot of value to customers that want, want to truly have a multi-vendor ONU environment, which is important. Um, we are leading for sure in the 10 gig micro OLT space, and we will soon be releasing our uh, 25 gig uh, symmetric micro OLT and ONUs. Uh, same pluggable footprint uh, with two and a half times the throughput uh, for a uh, minimal cost impact and also power consumption impact. So the, yeah. the platform, the hosting platform stay the same. Uh, bring a lot of value through that. Also, looking forward, we are working on a 100 gig coherent uh, pond. There's a lot of research and development uh, done on that. We're working with and through uh, the Cable Labs uh, single channel coherent uh, pond working group. And uh, the exciting part is that we now have some of the best pond uh, engineers and R&D folks in the world and also the best coherent uh, scientists in the world. So putting them together, I get a front row seat at seeing that, super excited. And we're looking forward to sharing our findings and our results with uh, the MSO family here soon. That's great. Now, as the industry transitions toward PON, um, and after digesting the current HFC upgrades, what do you see as some of the key pieces of the puzzle that still need to be figured out? Yeah, that's a great question. To date, the, the cable industry has done well at understanding the physical layer of PON, and there's, there's, good, there's good propositions on how to do those deployments. Looking forward, and in the scale that will be needed, um, we have to really become masters at management. That would be elements management, subscriber management, uh, sessions management, uh, similar to what the industry has done with DOCSIS and HFC. Interestingly, about the same time we bought Tibet, we also brought into Siena a company called Bennu. And yes. Bennu has with it uh, uh, virtual uh, BNG assets, mm -hmm. right? And so we're in the background, we're working to operate, operationalize that. Uh, and we'll bring some fresh ideas around topologies and pay as you grow models. So the management portion of Pond could be uh, well understood. Now, lo looking forward, it won't be enough to have physical layer and management, you're also going to need to have automation in order to really make these things grow and scale. And for that, we have our Blue Planet assets, right? And so within our Blue Planet suite, we have uh, inventory solutions, we have orchestration uh, solutions, and service assurance solutions. So really, we're looking at, along with the industry, we're looking at when the tide turns and Pond comes in scale, just all of the details that it takes in order to make our customers successful. And it sounds like you've been doing a lot of integration with all these acquisitions that you've made it, to kind of all round out your portfolio. There's a lot of work in the background and we're just having a ton of fun doing it. <laughs> That's a good way to describe it. So it looks like uh, there's a lot happening on the consumer side of the networks, but let's talk about uh, the Metro. What's yeah. happening there? So a uh, lot of excitement on the Metro. And a lot of it has to do with uh, the IP and optical convergence. And what that means is uh, you basically have uh, routers 
who can now integrate the coherent transceivers directly, mm -hmm. right? So in the past, you would have three different platforms. You would have routers, you would have optical modems for transport, and then you would have rotoms at mid-stage, right? Um, the idea has been to uh, reduce the number of rotoms and add, r and add routers there, and thereby converge the, the IP and the optical domain. So um, early on, the thought was that if we just add a bunch of routers, we can pretty much make the network very meshy and everything will be routers and transponder, uh, transceivers, basically. What Sienna uh, thought about early on was that in the metro, there would have to be a balanced mix. It can't be all uh, routers and transceivers. It can't just be all modems. There will have to be a happy medium. And we call this discipline coherent routing. Okay. And in coherent routing, we do three things. We aim to and work very hard at having a multi-vendor environment, both for routers mm -hmm. and for transceivers. They should all counter work and interwork. Um, we aim to have a balance to really understand when and how to use routers and rotums, and uh, we rely on our very uh, well-established uh, optical planning tools and knowledge that we have there. Um, and then the other part has to do with now that you've combined layer zero through layer three, you got to have some sort of way to visualize that and to optimize it. And so we have a management platform that will allow you to you know, in, in, interact layer zero through layer one and really get the best out of the network, really squeeze most of the juice out of the network. Uh, our customers have been very, very supportive of this approach. And... Uh, we continue to innovate daily on, on the Metro side. Great. Well, that sounds like you've really streamlined that whole process then with yep. all those steps yep. that you've taken. It's an exciting time in the Metro. Uh -huh. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you.